Imagine you're out hiking, the trip takes longer than you had first thought. Suddenly uh, it starts getting dark, the wind picks up and you find yourself in pitch darkness with a storm heading your way and you need to find shelter quick. Not an easy thing to do if you can't see where you're walking. This is Arnstein from Norway Hikes and Trails and this is the Sunblisa headland. Let's take a closer look to the lamp. It comes in a box and contains a hard case which holds your headlamp. A USB-A charger and the instructions. The lamp has a USB mini charger port and has two lights. It has a main light and a secondary light. The secondary light has two colors. You can order it either with white and red light or white, red and green light. The light can be locked by pressing both lights switches on the top. Hold it for five seconds. You should see a blink and now it's unlocked. Same for locking it. Just hold the two light switches for five seconds. You see a blinking light and it's locked. Now it cannot be turned on. You see it's locked. Unlocking, press both down, hold for five seconds. And now you can oh, switch on the light. The lamp itself has several settings. The main light, uh, you turn it on, increase and increase and hold it for three seconds. You get a strobe light. If you press it for one and a half seconds, uh, you get the maximum light. One and a half seconds. So the main light has five settings. On, medium light, high. And then if you hold it for one and a half seconds, you get maximum light. Now this only works for like 30 seconds and then it will go back to high. Then you have the secondary light. Secondary light has five settings. You could turn it on, medium, red light. And if you hold it for five seconds, you get the SOS. Press it again and you get the strobe. If you press the top for one and a half seconds, you get a battery indicator. You have two models, the H11 white, red, green, three light model, and the H11 white, red, two light model. The one I have is the white, red, two light model. The H11 white, red, two light model has high red, lasts for about eight hours the low high uh, lasts for about 30 hours and the high white six hours full charge takes about two hours it has a weight of about 45 grams the white light mode has uh, low light two lumens lasts for about 200 hours middle light uh, 38 lumens 20 hours high 190 lumens, 5 hours, and maximum uh, lasts for about 40 minutes and 365 lumens. On the max mode, it will work for about 30 seconds, then it will turn down to high mode. The high mode will keep itself for 30 minutes, then it will slowly adjust itself down to uh, middle mode. The only thing I don't like with the lamp is it has a USB-A uh, charging port. Now, it would be better if it was a USB-C. Used it a couple of times now, uh, both uh, for hiking and also camping. Uh, works fine. I think the uh, 30 hours uh, battery life for middle mode is uh, good enough for a weekend out. For hiking, there are other lamps that are better, but of course, a lot more expensive as well. I think as a backup light, emergency light, uh, it's excellent takes no room in the backpack, lightweight, and a good backup should you need an emergency light during hiking. 
has a tilt function. You can tilt it down, you can tilt it up. Um, as I said, I've tested it during hiking, uh, works fine. I find the middle mode during complete darkness is uh, more than enough for hiking. And then, and then using the high mode for shorter periods if there's something that you want to check further out. Smaller lamp gives an ambient light and it's good when you're in camp. And middle mode, it lasts for 30 hours. Now you're not going to use the light constantly for 30 hours. You probably use it just four or five hours in camp. So that means that it should last for at least three or four days uh, before you need to recharge it. And again, having it as a backup, I think it's a great idea. So I haven't found a Norwegian distributor of it. So you would have to order it online or through Amazon. As an emergency backup, I think the Sunblazer headlamp is a good alternative. I will have it in my backpack and keep it as a backup should there be a need for it. It doesn't take much space. It's lightweight, so I will not notice it's there during hiking. But should there be a need for it, I'll always know it's in my backpack, ready to be used.